Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're doing July's monthly oracle card guidance and we're using the sacred path cards. So you can go ahead and choose either option one, two or three. And I'm going to go ahead and lay out these cards. Okay, so for those of you who've chosen option number one, we're asking, what is the monthly oracle card guidance for July? What is the monthly oracle card guidance for July? So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we have four options here for each week in July. And we have the peyote ceremony, power place, whirling rainbow, and counting coup. And I think the way in which the weeks build up is really interesting because what it shows is that as you go through July, you're going to have a quite a nice progression towards what it is that you would like to, to, um, to achieve. So it's almost like you could start a new project at this moment or start a, or just work on a project that you have been working on already or something, some particular thing that you are doing. And by the end of July, you will be able to see the fruits of your labor. So it's a very good month for you to be able to begin something new or to embark upon something where you have been feeling a little bit blocked and where you have been uh, feeling like it's difficult to release something. Okay, and uh, you might not be complete with it in July, at the end of July. Well, some of you, depending on what you embark upon, will be finished by the end of July. But for others of you, it might be that this project or this thing that you're busy with, whether it's a, a legal um, dispute or whether it's um, some kind of long-term project, it could reach a kind of milestone at the end of July. And you're going to find that you're feeling a lot better about it. And it is a process that helps you to engage yourself uh, in many different ways that you didn't even know you you had. And so this is what the new abilities um, card is talking about. It's talking about starting things new, uh, allowing yourself to tap into uh, a set of skills that perhaps you haven't known that you have as yet, or perhaps developing a set of new skills that will help you on your path to be able to uh, create or do or achieve whatever it is that you need. Now, what I'm getting here is that, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. What I'm getting here is that as you begin July, as you start right now in July, you're going to need courage. You're going to need to be able to confront your fears and to be able to step beyond that in order to be able to have, um, to be able to progress, to be able to move in the direction that you need to in order to be able to attain the victory that you're looking for. Now, as you go in uh, into July and the second and third week, what you are going to find is that in order for you to be able to have the skills to reach completion, a successful completion, on whatever you are doing, you are going to need to uh, do some work on yourself or to be able to recognize certain things. Now, it might be for some of you that you just come to a sudden realization, or it could be that you are having to really examine who you are and what you are and what it is that you are dealing with whether it's in in terms of your own fears, whether you are a little bit stuck in some places, perhaps you've been doing some avo avoidance, you've been, you know, avoiding something, you've been procrastinating. It's something that is, um, that you need to overcome it. And I've just given you some basic examples, but each of you are going to be experiencing something completely different and unique. And that applies only to you. Okay. So as you get into the week two, 
um, well, let me just say in the week one, in this week, from the time I've uploaded this video, perhaps you're dealing with this already for a few days now. Well, what you're going to find is that you are needing to make some decisions as to what your goals are for July and what it is that you're wanting to achieve and what it is that you're willing to um, overcome in this month of July. And as you do that, what you're going to find is that next week, as you move into the second week of July, you're going to find that you have uh, already achieved a degree of empowerment. And in order to do that, you need to be able to be connected to that aspect of yourself where you, there is some faith or there is some faith in yourself or faith in um, in in or whatever are your beliefs or faith perhaps in in just the earth energy and the the idea that things can be okay and this gives you a degree of empowerment which allows you to be able to have the stamina and have the the strength to be able to move on and and go into the next phase of what it, what is uh, what is due so uh, for some of you it could be that you're trying to break through a certain mold that you've been in or you're trying to use your resources or certain skills that you have or certain talents that you have and put it out into the world and you are going to be successful at doing this it could also be that you are regenerating or giving a new face to something that you are working on in order for it to have a greater um, accessibility and um, with that by the time you reach week three, you're going to feel like you have achieved what it is that you want to achieve and that you are not just able to do this thing in the material world that we've been thinking about, but you are going to be able to overcome your mental stress around that uh, as well as your emotional um, response to it. So perhaps you've been afraid, perhaps you felt like you haven't had enough courage uh, to embark upon this before, or perhaps you just have it needing to it wasn't the right time for you and you just felt like you couldn't work on it and so I think that as you come to the end of the month you are going to feel quite victorious not just in terms of what you have been able to achieve because I see that you would be able to achieve this already by the third week at least but also you're going to be having some degree of pride in yourself because of the fact that you were able to do this at all okay so I think that July is going to be a really great month month for you for whatever it is that you are busy with. Now, I think that this really, this reading uh, and this the way in which I've read these cards really apply to you on an individual level dealing with one particular thing uh, and your relationship to it, whether it be your work or your organization or perhaps reaching certain goals in, in, in a kind of relationship. But um, if we were... If, talking about reaching particular goals in a relationship, I just want to say that you can't change the other person, but you can actually change the way in which you relate to the other person. So it would be working with yourself and coming to a place of empowerment with yourself and being able to achieve this wholeness with yourself before you were able to share this with another and uh, of course having victory in that context okay so I'm gonna leave it there I hope that's been useful and I hope that you have a fantastic July let me know how it goes many blessings to you all and for those of you who've chosen the option number two we are looking at July and the monthly oracle card guidance for July and we are going to choose or draw four cards that are going to talk to us about the month itself and give us the guidance that we need to proceed with the month ahead. Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we have the salt shield, we have the drum, we have returning home, and we have passion and spontaneity. So this is going to be a very jolly month for you. I feel that there's quite a lot of celebration as far as July is concerned for you. You could be traveling uh, and you could be returning home or you could be returning home on a spiritual level where you feel like you've just met with people who truly give you the sense that of who you are. And I think that 
uh, as you embark upon July or as you set out into July, what you are going to be doing is tapping into the needs that you have um, as you've had as a young person. The, the card is innocence or inner child. And I feel like if you just had to quietly sit and listen to what it is that you desire, what it is that you need, and allow the joy and the, the rhythm and the and the, the flow to come into your life and to just be, you, if you just be the flow that you need to be, um, and just listen to your internal beating of your drum, the internal, your internal beat, your internal longing. What is it that you, what is it that your body needs? What is it that your mind and heart needs in order to just allow yourself to, to be yourself and to be able to go with the flow as opposed to what is required of you, where you're supposed to go to, what your obligations are to yourself. So I feel that for some of you, this is going to be a vacation or this is going to be at some time that you have away from school or work or from life in some kind of way, not in a bad way. But I feel like what it's going to do for you is just give you the opportunity to experience life on a whole new level, literally be smelling the roses and just be able to have that joy curse through your veins once again. I feel that in many ways, this, as you come to the third week here, the card is returning home. Now, some of you may actually be returning home, literally, but I feel like it's returning home to a place of yourself, to the innocence that you started seeking as you entered July. Now, I think that the energy as we have it in July completely supports this growth and transformation that you have in your life and allows you to be able to let go of old wounds, allow yourself to kind of just not even think about it, like just put it in the back seat or in the back burner and not even think about it or even let go of it completely and just be able to tap into what is important in life and what is necessary and I think for for many of you, it's going to be the joy, just feeling joy, just feeling happiness, just being in a state of gratitude and just being able to come out of any difficulty or adversity, any type of hardship that you've experienced and just be able to tap into that which still is and that which allows you to be, okay? I think this allows you that as you come to the end of... Um, July. I feel like this is one phase. So it's like week one, two, and three. And then as you come into the third week of July or towards the beginning of the fourth week of July, what you're going to find is that a whole new energy comes into you. At this point, you some of you might be heading off to travel, but you might decide that you're just going to do whatever it is that you'd like to do and not what you've planned to do. And there's a lot of freedom involved in that. There's a lot of um, fire Actually, it's fire medicine and it's a lot of uh, fire that's involved in that. It allows you to reignite your passion. And I think that in order to do this, what we have to do here is still be able to um, to tap into what it is that needs to be let go of and what it is that needs to be healed. And um, I don't feel like there's anything heavy about this month for you. I don't feel like you're going to be doing some deep healing work or anything like that. I just feel like you uh, step on this bandwagon where you are open to experiencing joy and happiness and that you just go with that flow. And it's not anything heavy. It's not anything that's weighing you down in any ways. And that doesn't mean that anything has necessarily changed in your life. It doesn't mean that at all. But what it does mean is that your approach to your life is has taken on um, a lighter, um, a lighter way. You just feel really kind of in tune with things, and you're able to move along with, like, almost glide along. You're able to glide along and just kind of create the magic in your life as you go along. And this is going to be extraordinarily empowering. And as you come to the end of July, you're going to find that you're able to make decisions and, and new rules for your life, which are going to have quite a different um, feel than what you have had previously in your life. For some of you, I feel that this is the beginning of a whole new chapter. You know, it could be the beginning of a whole seven year uh, chapter or a 12 year chapter or just the beginning really of the rest of your life in terms of how it is that you're going to approach life and what it is that you are going to give 
and take from this life that you have. Um, I think that for some of you, it's leaving behind hardship and difficulty and just really embarking on a lighter path, regardless, as I said, of the difficulties that you might still be facing. Okay, so something's definitely shifted here, not just for you, but I think for everyone. I think the full moon that we have at this moment, as I'm going to be posting this, is also helping with that okay so it's not that heavy energy that some of uh you might have experienced in may or previously all right so i'm gonna leave it there it's such a happy positive reading and i think that you uh can only just go in with in into july with a lot of joy and happiness and if there are challenges that come up you're going to be able to face them with ease because of the approach and the attitude that you have taken for yourself okay i'm wishing you all the best and many many blessings for you for the month of july and beyond take good care bye now and so for those of you who've chosen the option number three we're asking what is it that we need to know for the month of july we are doing the monthly oracle card guidance and we're asking what is our guidance for the month of july Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the option number three, we're asking what is our guidance for the month of July? Oops. Well, I didn't remove that, so I'm just going to remove this right now and place this here. And I'm gonna shuffle and ask for one more card. So here for the month of July, it's quite an interesting experience for you because I think that as you enter July, you've already for some time been along a path of authenticity, but not just that, but integrity, just a path of pure virtue and integrity. And truth has been your armor. Truth has been what you've needed to use in order to go forth and to be able to tackle whatever it is that you needed to tackle. And in some ways, I feel like it's really been about um, visiting skeletons in a closet and using truth as a means to be able to unpack things and to be able to sort through things and actually to bring cycles to the end, okay, or close circles in some way. Now, I think that part of that is going to continue as you enter July and in the first week of July and you're still going to have that armor around you but then as we enter week two of July I find I feel that you're going to be more open to uh, sharing to uh, connecting with people to being able to be more open and free with yourself and so it's not the, the truth uh, or the severity of this um virtue that you've been carrying with you that you've needed to approach the world with until now is going to taper off a little bit and as you enter uh, the second week of July you're going to find that um, it's not so it's not such a heavy burden for you to carry you are being you are still using truth but it's not um, with the, the kind of uh, absolute um, truth or the absolute um, vigor that you have been using it for in the last few months or few weeks. And you're going to find that it's just easier to connect with people and to be able to share and to be able to make things. And it, you might also find for some of you that in week two, you're going to be able to uh, find new partnerships and people that you might work with or people that you might in fact be um, interested in pursuing a new projects with 
or you might find yourself in a space where you are making your friends as well. So I think that July is going to be uh, the second week of July is going to be a lot of new energy and that's quite different from the energy that you would have had before. In Previously, I feel like you would have been um, approaching the world quite singularly. And here, I feel like you're going to be approaching the world not just uh, by yourself, alone, and then having to use your integrity as a shield, but rather to... Um, you're going to be approaching the world with people at your side and with people who are willing to stand by you and support you as you move ahead. Now, I think this, as you head into week three, this leads lends you quite a lot of empowerment and quite a, a strong sense of being able to achieve anything and do anything in your life. And it can actually be a really... Um, it can be a time of well as it says unlimited vision uh but not just that but this this huge kind of uh reign of power and and uh fortitude that you ha have in you or that you're able to tap into that perhaps you haven't felt for until now perhaps it's almost uh, new for you perhaps you felt it previously in your life but as you enter into week three you're going to have this kind of rain down on you and it's going to feel like a whole new era for you. So I think that for some of some of the people who've come to this reading today, not just those of you who've chosen option three, July is a month where you are going to be having quite a lot of new beginnings. Um, it might not be very obvious that they are new beginnings because they are new beginnings because of realizations, because of some kind of experience that you have had, because of the energy shifts that are taking place. And it's not like you are having new beginnings as in you're necessarily moving house or leaving a job and starting a new one or starting a new business or getting married or something like that. Although there would be people who will be having those experiences as well. But for most people, July is going to be a month of new beginnings because of a shift and a change uh, in terms of your attitude, in terms of the, your approach to life. And this is unlimited vision. So you can create whatever it is that you desire. And in week three, you're going to find that you are in a space of empowerment once more. And I feel like for some of you, this first three weeks of July, of the first two weeks of July, are going to be about managing financial matters and being conservative with financial matters. And then as you come to week three, at the end of week three, you're going to find that you're feeling a lot freer with regard to that. And you are able to feel quite spontaneous as far as that is concerned, but not, and, and just plan ahead and not actually uh, be too conservative in your planning with regard to your financial well-being. Now, as we enter August and we, as we come to the end of the week uh, four or the, the last week of July and we're entering August, it's going to be a time for re or starting up again and beginning again and just being able to um, go within and tap inside what it is that you need and to be able to go into a space that is seeking um, yeah, information uh, where you are doing some meditation perhaps or you perhaps feeling the need to do some cer certain rituals. Now I feel like um, it's not necessarily rituals that engage other people or uh, call into being high powers but it's very much quieter it feels like introspection is necessary, reflection is necessary, and just being able to give yourself what it is that you need. You know, for for some of you, it just is that you need to go in and be quiet at this time because you have perhaps been very busy. You've been busy with a lot of different influences. You've had quite a lot of sharing taking place here in the second week of July. And perhaps as you come to the end of July, you just need a bit of quiet time, alone time, perhaps a bit of solitude, and um, just to be able to channel this energy that you've been working on and that you, you've, you've worked on until the beginning of July, that you've gained through others as well in the second week of July and that you've been able to amplify in the third week of July. And then the fourth week of July is just really about being able to say, okay, where am I going with this and how is this relevant to me and what am I going to make of this and how will I um, proceed in my life um, from this moment on 
And uh, I think as we get to August, you're going to have wonderful new beginnings and you're almost going to be a new person as you enter this time. So that's your reading for the month of July. It sounds amazing, but it also sounds like there is um, a bit of stuff that you... Um, it's a bit of stuff that's weighing you down a little bit at the beginning of the month. And I think that that doesn't last as you come to the end of the month. Because here you have this something weighing you down, something that you're sharing with others. And here you have complete um, levity and complete um, freedom to do whatever it is that you need to do. It's quite a floaty energy here. And then here again, you're trying to bring yourself back to ground, the ground, trying to earth yourself. So any heaviness that you're feeling at the beginning of July or any kind of, um, not heaviness necessarily, but some kind of um, gravity that you're feeling at the beginning of the month, you won't necessarily be feeling that uh, as you come to the second so as you come, sorry, to the third week of July and the fourth week, because you're going to find that that has shifted completely and that you are in a whole different space. And then as you get to August, you are completely in a brand new space. OK, so I'm leaving it there. I wish you all a very blessed month of July and many, many blessings to you all and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.